So we're about to make a trad through Blue Mountain into the Rasta village. We're going to see what the Rasta village is going with. We're going to go meet and show Drew the culture behind Rastafarianism and the religious aspect of it, the spiritual aspect of it, the holistic side and the food as well. stopped and you look and there is coffee blue mountain coffee just growing on the side of the world on the side of the road this is some of our Jamaica's prized possession what people don't know is that only 20% of blue mountain coffee goes out to other countries 80% goes to Japan take that for your snippet I've been on some trots, some serious walks, but this, not even bird bush, <laughs> not even bird bush walk is like this. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> the motherland. Yeah, man. That's really cool. Hello. Hi, how are you? So how after you about a 20 minute trot through the hills, we we'll make it up to we don't know. We're up on the peak though. Uh, we made it to the top. This is the Rasta village that's in Blue Mountain and we're just waiting to meet yeah, up with somebody else. Yeah. And when she comes, she'll give us her explanation, her tour of the place. It's actually absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. The seat that I'm sitting on, the breeze can just keep back after that long trail. Oh, cool and nice. And still the view of Kingston City. And, and, and. I'm going to prepare the fire, you know? You're good. I mean, I got chalice here, please. I can tell you, you see chalice. Yeah, man. You got to see it, too, man. You got to see it. Coconut trash. There's nothing better to start a fire with than dry coconut husk. And if it's even at the husk, it's something that comes off of the tree. There's a small netty yeah. type material that will light the fire real quick. Keep it blazing. And not more you want than the fire for what? Blazing. Stay blazing. Yeah. What are you cook for today, chef? Well, I heard that you, you need some ital stew, but I don't know what you really want with the ital stew yet, so you're, you're going to tell me what you need with the ital stew. Are you for me to know what you prepare, man? Oh, so I have to prepare something for you. I want full ital, I want an ital meal, man. I want to know what the, what the Rasta eats, so. Alright, we eat ital stew with the turn, turn corn meal. Yeah, man. Ital stew with like crumb provision. Ital stew with like rice, whatever you desire. No. Whatever you desire. If you want it with turn corn meal, whatever I want it with you rice. You the natural things, so you give it with what? Ground provision, that then. Alright. So we can give it some ground provision then. Yeah, man. So it's a go on, please. So, I test you on dashin and cocoa. Bananas. The white, yeah. Honestly, yeah. yam is hearing about where it is. It's time, forget it. It kinda so, so the things. The top of the hill. That's where the yam is. Yeah, that's where me all the yams are. So the things that you're going to get the ground provision, that is stuff that you're going to get fresh. 
Yeah, yeah, man, right. Yeah, fresh, fresh. I'm gonna eat them. Yeah, man. As soon as the, 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 Hear that fresh, so that literally is farm to table. Everything is fresh. Yeah. See that some dashi. Yeah. Some green banana. Right. Pumpkin. Some pumpkin. Right. The coconut. No other thing. Yeah, man. Cut up some coconut. We are going to go in at the stew. Yeah. So this are this are the, the ground produce for the stew, now. Right. Is a main base and the pumpkin. Yeah. Main base with the stew. And so potato. Mm hmm. Everything is fresh. The dirt is still on some of the produce. The bananas still have the moisture of coming from in the hill. And the pumpkin, look at the color in that pumpkin. I hope I can. Curry pumpkin. Yeah, man. Ah, look at the juice still up on the pumpkin. Really nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is scary and it looks like it does. Yeah, man. Vineyard. Everything just. Yeah, man. Vineyard. The smell. Yeah, man. You don't even need for purple the way it smells. It's rude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real, yeah, real. Man, this is, this is, this is, this is all times. Yeah, man. The best thing in Nigeria. Yeah, spice. Spice. And this spice. is the purple garlic, yeah. um, onion. And you have the garlics. Yeah, man. How much you want? And then the, this, food, this now, food, you're, not, you're not throwing like this pose. That, that is what you going to put back into compost, and that's what creates all of this natural beauty right here. Yeah. All of that natural vegetation is built from basically regenerating itself. Self-sustaining is really what it is. So nothing goes to waste, nothing is thrown away. They keep on putting stuff together and then putting it back to the earth, back to where it's from. Finger, scrape off his head. No, we can't touch that now. Let me scrape that off now. That one. What we do with back in the farm, yeah? Yeah, man. Right back in Natural the Natural organic. That's what creates all of this. No. No. Come yeah, on, so fresh, just reap. You just go for this. So you couldn't call me a reap, man. Let me see what I go on when you take you up. No, nice, nice, nice dashi. Dash so this, this are, this are dashi, but they don't have wild cocoa. No, yeah, but they have wild cocoa. This, wild cocoa, this, this, wild this wild cocoa have the same leaf. Yeah, same leaf. Same leaf. Yeah, cocoa. yeah, man. No, we don't have cocoa. Yeah. We don't have food wild by earth. Yes, sir, yeah. we don't have food wild. Because no. once you can eat it out for a while. The thing is, people, the food them with them not really follow up, them call it wild food. But no food no wild. You understand? All food they are for all away. But we need to know them. Yeah, because that's the same one that we talk also, about and I say, well, you know, me eat that regular, you know. Right. Why they also call it wild? Because sometimes you go in the wilderness and, yeah, and found it. Yeah. No one really plant it. Mm -hmm. You just catch that's it. That's how I do it. That's how I do yeah. They call it wild. But me understand, yeah. Rasta says still work. More time people call things wild and... Yeah. They don't have no genuine meaning behind them, what I mean. Yeah, because the thing is, the lab food now, I eat them with that's a TM. And they just said the food don't so go well, like well. thing then, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then put that negativity upon it. Right. You understand yeah. why the lab food don't depend on fertilizer all the way. Right, right. You understand? Yeah. What do you We're going to prepare coconut. Yeah, no, no, jelly too. I can't drink. <laughs> oh, no, not right now. So this is broad bean, chickpeas, red peas, and, and I think one I think a stripe peas and lintel. So about five different 
grains in, the, in, in this Ita's tree you're going to get. So as soon as it, it reaches the stage, you can see the development of it, how, how it's prepared. No? Just building a new fire. You know? One more pot of the stuff. Yeah, I'm going to share the fire. Yeah, I'm going to share the fire. So we're going to share the fire. Every one of them own flames, eh? Yeah, man. So the ground provision will consist of the fresh yeah. cocoa, yeah. which is here. This yeah. color and this pumpkin is absolutely amazing. This is fresh, it's called thyme. It's not the actual thyme, the Mediterranean thyme. French thyme. French thyme. French thyme. French thyme. Yeah. 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 Yeah, go great height or you? Yeah, we're going great height. So, we, what are you going to do with the coconut in there? We're add it into the. Yeah. So, so we use the milk from the coconut. In okay, the so I'll milk it out in uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Three more over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, go ahead. Let's this. What do you taste, Russell? Yeah, come out I here. I just taste the broad bean. Fire blaze on the side, I'm on. Chickpeas and stripe peas. And I'm about 10 minutes away from cooking. So how, when that cooked down, what is it going to create? All right, when the peas all are finished cook, we're going to add the, the ground provision, like the, the cocoa, the dashi, mm -hmm. the pumpkin, to give a body. Mm -hmm. And then we use the coconut milk for the seasoning. So you're cooking all of that down till it gets down to anything, so it blends up together. Yeah, in Add the coconut milk into it. Yeah, with the and seasoning. Uh, with the seasoning, what kind of seasoning I'm gonna is fly, that? I'm going to fly up. Garlic, pimento, skeleton and thyme, onion, and pepper. Natural seasoning. Natural, and a little French thyme. Natural seasoning. Yeah. So all of that will be infused into that. Once what I want to know, there are more than one way you can, you can cook itals stew. I can cook itals stew also, like, fry the season also, and then hard. Ah, I love this in it. I'm gonna cook it that way. Why well, you cook it your way? I'm gonna cook it that way. Make it taste it. Yeah. So all of this, we're gonna get the bananas and the dash in and add to the ground provision, so you can have a nice spice. So these are gonna cook. Yeah, this other some fresh green one on the right and all. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah man. Fresh the pick. Yeah. 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 Got a fresh coconut grater down. Yeah. I have in my water for take the stain off of it. Yeah. yeah. Take yeah. some of my starch off of this and thing. Yeah. I don't block. I went yeah, in the water, yeah, don't block. Yeah, in the dark hole. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm going to have to get in touch with you. Yeah. 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 So, it's going to boil for the next about half an hour or so. Use some of the warm water. You can take the milk out of the coconut more faster. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is the warm water from the... The peas. The peas. Yes, sir. This is help. Yeah. Make the milk come up the water out of it more faster. Yeah. This man just bring a tree oh, for the wood fire. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> ah. Firewood, you know? Blazing firewood, you know? Oh, 
The colors alone look amazing. You can hear him knocking the pot. Remember, I tell you, every, most Jamaicans knock the pot three times. You hear the pot knock, that means that good things going on in there. That pot is looking amazing. The colors are spectacular, and this place is just unbelievable. Located in the Blue Mountains, and it's something that is truly dear to my heart. Truly amazing. The cultural aspect of it, a huge part of Jamaican influence, is the Rasta communities. My next time, it's your seal with this. Everything like that. Everything like that. Yeah. So you see, this is yeah, flavorful. Yeah, man. You can smell the flavor in it. Yeah. Let me see if we can. Wow, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. I tell you, I tell you, gonna like smell the flavor before, but no, the taste of the flavor <laughs> is here. Like I know, man. I know you're going the taste like is hitting, it's spectacular. You can taste the coconut milk and all of that stuff that's cooked down in there. When that comes together and fuses that food, mm. and then on the wood fire, again into the food. Almost so you, you know we are gonna love it. Then I'm us, man. <laughs> no, I say that, Asta. No, I say that, you know. I just want to take the full season, but the full spice, different pattern. Because we know the right amount of things for the thing. Up, what? The food of the most, sir. Let's build this and this is can come up and ask them. See this one, I'm trying to eat this one. I yeah, remember the hill, is it me? So when, when, when this one are done, do when this one are done, I no, remember the hill, you know? Can't no, forget, forget the hill. The hill. Yeah, man. I'm straight off of it. straight off of the hill, is it me? It's a prop up here. Watch out. Proper, man. Size, man. Yeah. <laughs> proper, yeah, man. man. Proper, yeah. yeah. So I shake it. People are going to ask me why I shake the pier. If you hear the seed in there, it tends to be a drier pier. Or Avocado as some people, but this is Jamaica, we call this pier. Yeah. So it, when I shake it and if you hear the seed rattling, it tends to have a drier texture inside than it is outside. It won't be a wetty, wetty pier as we call it. So I'm making it cook down more so you can get a nice little body. Yeah. Oof, warm. Very hot, yeah. No, it's not ganja, it's actually the smoke from the pot getting into my eye. But I just walked past and the smell of the coconut milk draw me right back to beside the pot to actually tell you about it. The smell is intense, the flavor of that going in. And as you can see, as I was telling you, about the smoke going into the pot. And when I open it, so all of that flavor from that wood going be infused into that ital stew. I think this is the first time we're doing ital stew on the channel, but... Whew, yeah man, see? Eyes running, but waiting for that amazing boat to be finished. And it smells amazing, it looks amazing. There's a lot of flavor in there. So you go and test and tell you what oil taste? I would love to. Yeah. I'm gonna start share the ground provisions then. Yeah. So and then he will share the stew. So So this is a pumpkin and a dashi. Yeah. And I'm going to give a piece of cocoa. Yeah. All right. This is a cocoa. Mm? Dashi in this. Right. Yeah, man, it's a cocoa there. Yeah, man, it's a cocoa. So you will give it this chewy.
All right, fin gong gong. Yeah. Should I give it up one by one or all together? All together. I do What I pay a job? What do All of the natural food just come down and come to a boil now and the sharing out process is just as amazing as the cooking. You can see the natural food, the colours, the brightness of it, the smell of it is amazing and the taste is spectacular. This is one of the healthiest meals that you can have. It is actually no additive, no ingredients, no, no unnatural seasoning. Everything 100% natural. Yeah, man. Come give her a good away here. Good away, man. All right, then do it, my boss. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. Choose any one. Looks pretty good. Good job, man. <laughs> Good job, bro. You killed it. Oh, can you bring the other two for yeah, yeah. our friends, please? Yeah. Yeah. I'll sit. Maybe I'll just sit next to her, Chris. Okay, this is for you. Oh, oh really? Uh, well, we I'm gonna give you food first. Unless okay. you just want to wait to eat. No, I'd love to eat. Yeah. <laughs> There's more in here, here by the rest of you. Want me to bring one some more? I think that's it. I'll just wrap my camera over here. Well, I mean, it's not. We need a little more payoff now. We've been filming all day. Like, you don't want to just have like a. Yeah. See that red carpet for the IM? Okay. It's uh, okay. Yeah. I think we just film your guys' scene first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to take a bite of it. Look at this. Mm. And mm. to be able to up here just survive the chill environment and to be able to enjoy this natural food straight from the hills of Blue Mountain with no additives, no preservatives, no fertilizers, everything is natural, naturally cooked, naturally prepared and smells absolutely amazing. As a youth in Jamaica, we always have limes, we always had sour in something to make juice out of, and if we never have it, we go find it. And they just brought some sour in juice that they picked from right here and just made it. And I always think that what is at my house is actually the best. And Munala, this it's challenging, it's challenging, it giving some so it, 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 it's good. It's very good, but it, boy, mm, I can't say it. I mean, back some yard. Heart of love, you know. Manners and respect every time. 
Mighty. Give thanks, brother. Mightily. Yeah, man. Sure. One more. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm not allowed you. Yeah. You're up. Give thanks, yeah, brother. Ah, I love give thanks every time yes, here. Yes, Bless up. Pass. One yeah, more, brother. The experience coming out of the Rasta village up here in the Blue Mountains, having ital food, speaking about the culture, the history behind Rastafarianism, and basically making people know that Rasta is love, Rasta is unity, Rasta is natural, and it is amazing. We've had an absolutely amazing time up at the Rasta village in Blue Mountains. Them sharing the culture, the food, the ital stew, everything that they had up here, just welcoming us into their place with open arms. And for this to be the final leg of the Blue Mountain, it was amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed the food in itself. Everything has been a nice touch of culture in Jamaica, so. Bro, awesome experience, man. Thanks for taking me up here. Jamaica is awesome. Amazing food, amazing people, amazing life, amazing culture. Thanks to this guy. Respect. Respect, bro. Every time, Drew. Thank you.